Hello comrades and welcome to another Subnautica's video. And I am actually so excited I am, and I am so happy. Uh, well, just because uh, on the last video, on the last video of Subnautica where I uh, presented a little information about uh, the transfuser, uh, I asked you comrades to uh, leave a like uh, on that video and if we could get 30 likes we will continue with the series and comrades I have no idea uh, how but you managed to leave almost 200 likes this is actually insane this is actually I, I cannot understand I cannot comprehend this because well my channel is pretty small so uh, and I, I don't g uh, tend to get a lot of views but uh the whole community, you comrades just exploded that like button, and uh, I am I am so happy, and I am, uh, and uh, and yeah, you are encouraging me to continue with the series. And today, uh, I wanted to talk about two things, uh, and uh, yeah, let's con and let's yeah, let's go with the with the video. And uh, the night is coming, and uh, that's perfect. That's that's very romantic. And uh, as you may have already noticed, I am in a mountain island, and here is the precursor gun. Now, for those who watched my videos, uh, you may have already noticed that there is something wrong with the precursor ground-to-air system. And uh, yes, you are totally right because. Uh, the precursor gun is now facing away from the aurora. Uh, yeah, I think we should... Wow, the, the sun is setting so fast that uh, <laughs> I cannot actually... I, I barely can see where I am standing. So, yeah, and the moon and everything looks, wow, amazing. And I don't know, uh, should I make uh, it today or should I? We continue, but all right, let's let's continue because we can see the amazing illumination from the precursor precursor gun. So, uh, comrades, yes, the precursor gun uh, is now facing away from the aurora, and last time we checked, it was in a completely different position. It was uh, from uh, from the position we are standing here. Uh, it was straight, and. Uh, yeah, the developers, uh, well, not moved a gun, but they turned a gun a little bit. And uh, they have done it uh, just because, uh, well, to add, I think it's uh, to add more, like, excitement of the gun. Because, uh, well, yeah, I have, I forgot to warn you, there will be uh, spoilers in the game. So, yeah, uh, just, I don't know, uh, <laughs> cover your ears. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, as you may have already know, uh in the certain certain time of the game of the subnautica game uh, you will uh, you will send uh, well immediately you will send a distress signal when your aurora will be shot down and a friendly uh, vessel a friendly uh, uh, vessel uh, will try and save you uh, he will be coming from i don't know the outer space and uh, as the precursor gun uh, is doing his job, as he has done his uh, job uh, very well with the Aurora, uh, because he shot it down, he will do the same good old job with a Sunbeam. Yeah, the Sunbeam is the name of the vessel who is trying to save us, because, well, he heard our distress signal that we need help, and he is coming to uh, planet 4546B, and, well, he wants to save me. And uh, as the precursor did his job on the Aurora, he is doing his job on the Sunbeam. So, uh, on a certain time, uh, when the Sunbeam will approach uh, this planet, the precursor gun will start turning, uh, and he will start turning uh, this to the same position And uh, as we have already uh, seen it before. He will be straight from here. And uh, yeah, uh, he will be uh, turning and he will be shooting down the sunbeam, and uh, we we will be uh, we will be able to see the uh, particles from this uh, sunbeam falling down to the ocean, and yeah, the that uh, vessel will be gone, and uh, yeah, we will the the precursor gun we will be killing everybody on board, and yeah, that's actually pretty sad. 
but uh, you have already know why the precursor gun is doing that. It's it's not that he it's not he is not shooting down the zombie because he wants to do that. He is shooting down because he don't doesn't want the Karar virus to spread to other uh, I don't know alien forms. So he is thinking well maybe uh, because he is programmed to think that way uh, by the precursors. Maybe uh, we will shoot down everybody that comes to this planet and boom that's it the Karar virus will stop uh, spreading so and again uh, I wanted to talk about one thing little uh, very very fast uh, imagine this planet is huge uh, well really really big and uh, there is only one planetary uh, defense systems, uh, ground-to-air planetary defense systems to cover the whole planet. And, well, precursors are, were a very uh, highly advanced race, and I doubt that they forgot about the uh, one thing, that hmm, maybe uh, only one uh, defense system will be not enough. I doubt that they were so stupid and, uh, well... There is the room for the uh, expansion, for the subnautica expansion. And yeah, I have been talking through all the night. So yeah, the, the sun is now uh, going up. The moon is setting down. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is uh, actually what I want to talk about, the precursor gun. And uh, I will show you uh, the video where the precursor gun is turning and shooting and with the whole sound effects and everything and my god that that uh, everything in that video is just so amazing and awesome so yeah let's go to the video so here is the video i will leave the link in the description for you to uh, look for yourself but yeah as you can see the precursor uh, precursor ground to air systems is, is now turning uh, and facing to the same position as we have seen it from the first for the first time and uh yeah uh it, it it is awesome actually it is huge it is massive and it is turning a little bit slowly uh and uh yeah and now in a few seconds he will start shooting and anytime right now and you can listen. Oh my god, it is actually so awesome, so epic. The sound effects, I, I really love them. I actually have seen this video for quite a, a lot of a uh, few times and uh, I don't know, that's that's really awesome. Again, we can see the, the precursor gun firing. Boom! And see you later, Sunbeam. I'm sorry that we had to kill you, but we have to secure that the Karar virus will not spread again. Comrades, the second thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is in the Lost River. And uh, yeah, there, as you already know, uh, there is our buddy. Uh, Let's just call him Super Dragon Lethal uh, Reaper Leviathan. And uh, yeah, he is chilling here in the Lost River. And uh, he got uh, a little bit of love from the de developers because he was updated. Now he is... Uh, this, the whole skull is uh, was turned a little bit. He is now facing... Uh, to the other direction well it's it was not it's not like a huge improvement but uh, he, i think he was facing a little bit uh, to that to this little rock and uh, yeah he got a little bit uh, more updated some kind of mushroom some kind of spores attached to his nose uh, because as i remember there were uh, no there was uh, there was a little bit of uh, pieces attached to it, but uh, attached to his nose but not so much because we can see here there uh, something right here and uh, yeah by the way uh, you can see those holes actually we can go inside and I don't know uh, live in that hole make shelter and and everything so yeah and uh, yeah I want you comrades I want you to look at this uh, skull 
and I want you to imagine the size of it. I will uh, stand here and I will leave my uh, my body right like this and I want you to look at this skull and imagine how huge and big it is. Uh, yeah, for those who have saw uh, my top 10 biggest creatures, I have we have put a size reference inside uh, the Dragon Leviathan and mm, yeah, it was a little bit the, the skull was a little bit smaller and yeah as you can see there is uh, our little friend who is just standing and uh yeah we can actually compare our body uh with a t tooth uh, with a teeth of the with like a small teeth we're not going for that big one but we're going for this small tooth like right here and we are going to leave our body again and i just want you to imagine yeah, we are smaller than a tooth. So, yeah, this is this thing is actually a colossal uh, thing. I don't know, maybe he's like uh, same size as the Aurora. I don't know, but this creature is like amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm not uh, showing you the skull uh, just for fun because uh, we, we have seen this skull like countless of times. Uh, I want to show you it. Uh, I want uh, to show you the skull, and I wanted to compare it with my uh, diver, just because we are going to the other uh, place, the other uh, awesome place in the Lost River. And uh, now I have to, yeah, we have to go straight from here because uh, there is another skull in the Lost River. Uh, yeah, we have to go that way. There is another skull in the Lost River, and I wanted you to see and compare with this giant awesome skull. So, uh, to find it, you have to leave our buddy here and go to the Lost River Cove tree. And if you don't know, it's actually really, really easy to find. You leave this buddy and you go to this small cave, this small opening, and... Uh, uh, if you cannot find it, just uh, go to this uh, to this graveyard and look around for this cave. It's it's not very big uh, place, so it should not take you a long time to find this uh, to, uh, to find this place. And yeah, I think we are going to speed it up a little bit. And yeah, you have to follow the road to the cove tree. And uh, here you can already see the cove tree. He is just chilling. He is waiting for. Uh, somebody to go and rescue him and don't go to the lost uh, cove tree go to uh, the right uh, a little bit uh, to the right uh, from here you can go to the mountain uh, region uh, where we have our precursor gun and yeah you have to go straight yeah you you will be uh, coming to the grand reef and uh, yeah just follow this tunnel and yeah we have a skull somewhere here yeah we have to wait a little bit for uh the textures to, to load because here uh we are we can see another skull in the lost river and uh first of all when i saw it i thought i immediately thought that hmm what's this uh is that uh like a baby uh leviathan or something like that because uh from the first look this skull looks like tiny very very small and well yeah it's actually smaller that uh huge one and uh yeah here i will make uh the same uh size uh uh reference and here you can see that this skull is actually actually really really big and huge well of course, it's a lot smaller that, uh, than that in the Lost River, but I have, comrades, I have a theory about these two skulls. And uh, if you have saw my previous videos, we have visited at the Gassi bases, we have uncovered the data pads, and there is uh, a clear indication that the Degasi base uh was attacked by some sort of a huge creature now uh, it's just a theory it's just a conspiracy theory but i think it's uh, it sounds very cool and uh as you may have already know the 
uh, the Gassi base was attacked by a huge uh, sea monster. And it was not attacked because the sea, huge sea monster wanted to attack that Degasi base. Uh, but the uh, people, well, let's call them aliens. The, uh, well, okay, not aliens, but uh, the life forms uh, there maybe were humans. Okay, let's call them humans. Uh, one of the human brought uh, a small uh, baby uh, leviathan to that base for studies and well the mama the wife and uh well the mama uh, sea monster got pissed and he, uh, she uh, were was looking for her baby and she found it in that degassi base and well she practically destroyed it of course uh, it's actually uh, a flimsy uh, flimsy theory because well imagine uh if uh this uh, human uh, size of this uh body without head there is practically no chance that he could bring a baby uh, uh, dragon leviathan with this uh, uh, size of this huge skull because it's like million times bigger and uh, you just you cannot say hey come on come on baby come on i will give you like candies and uh, something like that and he will just follow you you have to trap him trap him with i don't know something huge something big and well the stasis rifle is not big enough to uh, to trap this this baby so yeah that's a theory uh, maybe uh, somebody someone will like it but uh, yeah so yeah you can see uh, you can f uh, go and uh, check out for uh this this creature uh this uh, second uh skull and uh yeah it's it's really really awesome by the way uh you can see that the lost uh river was updated because there were no uh such life forms like these <clears throat> some kind of mushrooms and uh yeah they are now glowing maybe in time they will be like i don't know uh something aggressive that will uh, try to i don't know attach to you and uh, kill you slowly but that's just a theory so okay comrades i think it's enough for this episode and i uh, hope that you enjoyed it and because yeah i enjoyed it really really very much and uh yeah uh, if you did enjoy it you are always welcome to leave a like and consider becoming a comrade today and as always comrades i will see you all in mother russia <laughs>